utilizing resources a blank and change all the tasks to automatically scheduled which is the default way of teaching I'm going to change the view to the resource sheets and this short video is going to look at how we can populate the resource sheet and one or two of the options that are on there you type your resource name into the resource name column and um, as well as having two workers Joe and Sam I'm actually going to show the options you get if you actually put in uh, a generic resource like electricians. We're also going to be looking at material resources. I'm going to have gravel and cost resources. I'm going to have airline tickets. So let's have a look at some of the options I can do with these. Joe is a work resource. He gets paid by the hour. I have one of him and he's going to get paid £50 an hour. He could get paid £55 over time and he works the standard calendar. Sam is also a work resource. Uh, I can shorten these initials to whatever I like. Sam gets paid £40 an hour. Uh, he doesn't get paid any overtime. He works to the standard calendar. Now, one of the decisions you'll have to make is, are you going to enter your resources individually by name or are you going to put their generic resource top? And so for electricians, I'm going to have 10 of them in my department. They can get paid £30 an hour. Now, the, the plus for putting in electricians 10 is that it doesn't matter who is working on the tasks as long as they've all got the same skills. If you put in the 10 electricians by name, then although it is absolutely clear who is responsible for the tasks, which specific electrician, if one of them was to leave, you would have to go and find everything that they were allocated and replace them with somebody else. Gravel is a material resource. I'm going to buy this material by the ton and now it doesn't cost me per hour it's going to cost me 60 pounds per ton because it's material it doesn't have a calendar another resource I can put is um, a crane an overhead crane or a cherry pick to come it's a work resource it's going to cost me £50 for every hour I use it, but there's a cost per use. To get it to site to use it, it's got a £200 cost. Now, every time I use that crane, it's going to cost me £200 plus £50 an hour. Airlines are a cost resource. An airline ticket has got a particular cost. I can't actually associate the cost at this current point in time but I can assign it to a particular task. The final things to look at in the resource sheet. Uh, sometimes students will say to me, um, why does this say 100% or 1000%? And this is controlled in options and the schedule tab. Uh, show assignment units as decimal or Percentage. I prefer to say small. There's the percentage. You know, a thousand percent means ten people. So I prefer file options schedule decimal. And another common question is: uh, I want to work in euros or dollars. How can I change this away from pounds? And that is in file options. Is file options display? we can change the to something else. The final thing to say on this is that Microsoft Project will model your uh, for every hour that Joe works. We're going to accrue his costs pro rata. It could be that when we hire the crane, we have to pay everything up front. Or it could be that we only pay for the gravel when it is actually delivered, and I could use that at the end. So Microsoft Project models the project costs 
using the accrue column. So there's a quick look at the resource sheet view.